boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best selling author Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much for joining me, my friends. Uh, we've been taking a beating here the last couple days. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Happy midweek to you guys. It's Fed week, Fed speak. Uh, we'll see how that goes uh, tomorrow when the Federal Reserve decides to raise raise interest rates by a quarter uh, percent. Uh, we'll just see how that goes, my friends. Uh, but our stocks, there has been no structural damage when it comes to our uranium stocks. And I'll show you here in a minute in the, in the charts. We have not had any, any uh, damage like we did a couple weeks ago. In fact, from what my sources uh, in the great state of Washington have told me as of today, uh, we are going to have sanctions on uh, uranium. Uh, it's a matter of being patient my friends, and we'll see how that goes. But I believe uh, things are going to happen, and I believe my sources, like I always have. In a minute here, I'm going to give you my top five baby knockout uranium stocks. Now, our research has uh, indicated that these these stocks that we spotted early on, and when I say baby knockouts, these stocks have the ability to just wipe out the competition. They have great management. There's some great financing there. There's some great location. They have that little extra mojo that can put them over the top. Uh, no particular order. Just these five uh, have stood out, uh, and uh, they're they're good good stocks and good people uh, that we've been dealing with for a long a long time. Uh, some of the CEOs and and some of the people within the companies, my friends, and they have turned out to be major players in uh, uranium. So uh, early on, guys, we had that nose, uh, just like we did early. This thing started, these baby knockouts started with the dot-coms way back, guys. This is our third uranium bull market, and this time, we believe we got it right, and we got it right when these things were pennies on the dollar. Do we think they have a long way to go? Yes, they have a long, long way to go, uh, my friends. And... Uh, like I said, my, my source told me today, just be patient and uranium will take care of itself. But you know, when we started this in 2017, 2018, we started really backing the truck up on some of these stocks and getting them, you know, when they had these real big dips like they're having now. Um, there weren't a lot of people out there. You know, it, it was just a few of us. Uh, but now you go on, on the internet and there's just a lot, a lot of people and uh, talking about uranium. So what does that mean? That means that our lithium, our next trade is, is heating up. So there'll be some people that'll be going out and, you know, talking about lithium. Not just the Australians, uh, because they're doing a fine job. Uh, guys down, down under are doing a fine job. Uh, but uh, they'll be coming, you know, our way and we have to... Uh, up our game a little bit and get our baby knockouts like I did in, in the newsletter. Uh, I've got my five uh, lithium top baby knockouts. Uh, and when I, I, I think, what did I say? Do, can you guys see any of the corrections I make on there? Like I said, uh, Central America, and you guys know I meant South America, the, the lithium triangle down there. And I'll correct it with a subtitle in there and I'll put a little blurb in there. But I don't know if those are even showing up. Do you guys see that? When the show comes on, does it say the scoop with Mickey D? Does it say that in the beginning? It's supposed to say that in the beginning and written down. And I've been doing this for all these years, and I still can't get it right. You know, I still have phone calls. Give me a phone call. Give me a phone call. A prop. No, no. Uh, well, whatever. Hey, but um, I'm going to give you these guys, these top five baby knockouts. Really, really uh, good uh, shape here. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna make you a lot of dinero. They're gonna make you a lot of dough if you stick with them and if you're patient. We have and we we we've been very patient. And uh, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, show you these uh, charts here, guys and uh, guys and gals. Once again, the scoop is for your education, your entertainment, and your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor. Uh, these are not stock picks, my friends. Yes, 
Marijuana, Dave, and Adam and Uranium Tomorrow. Companies get an early hold and grow rich. Most of them were in this book that I wrote, this mini book here, just a little short three, four years ago or so. Uh, this was in there. Uh, I was talking about it, doing videos on it and all. I'll, I'll tell you, this is what I, I dare you to find any uranium low market cap, low price uh, baby knockouts like we picked them and whose five is better than, than ours. We have absolutely unequivocally the best five because it's made a lot of people a lot of money because just as the cannabis was winding down, See, we were on top of our next trade, which was vanadium and uranium. And vanadium still hasn't hit yet, but uranium has. And what's coming behind uranium? We think lithium. So make sure you get your lithium uh, baby knockouts uh, right. So let's take a look at some of the charts, guys. You wanted it, guys and gals. Here it is. It's my top five uranium uh Baby knockouts. Not in any particular order, guys. These are just ones that we picked up awfully early, and we have them. Let's start. You see this chart right here? This is Uranium Energy Corp. UEC. Um, UEC, we noticed early on it was like a $225 billion company. Um, it is now a $225 million company. You guys know I make mistakes, right? It's all like over a billion dollar company now. This is UEC. We expect it to be one of the largest companies in America. As you can see, 200-day moving average, it's over its 200-day moving average. Uh, last few days, you know, everybody's taking a hit. We'll see what the interest rate uh, decision is by the Fed, and we'll see if these things go on their merry way there. But uh, UEC, uh, uh, great management. You know, Marinati from, from years and years back when uh, this thing was nothing, quarter, 50 cents, uh, he was just... Uh, getting projects together. He's just getting projects together and he didn't care. He was like a madman. He was doing his homework and, uh, you know, he's assembled a, a, uh, a, a dream team, the, uh, you know, with all the board members there. And uh, uh, UEC is one of our top five uh, uranium baby knockouts without a doubt. Let's move to number two. What about George Glazier over at Western Uranium and Vanadium? These are all friends of the scoop, guys. We've known these people for years and years and years. Uh, George, as you know, he, he was uh, the CEO there. He was running uh, Uranium uh, Energy, UUUU. Uh, he was running that, uh, or Uran Uranium Energy. Uh, he was running uh, UUUU. <laughs> And that's my largest holdings, guys. That's that's we got that at under a dollar. But we knew it, they had assets, and we knew George when he moved over to Western Uranium uh, and Vanadium. We knew he was going to do a good job. So uh, they they were we we they were in the book, guys. Twenty nine million dollar market cap. They're now uh, about eighty five million or so. They're right below their two hundred day moving average right now. Uh, it's a stock that has it has done better here. Over the last uh, 10 days or so, uh, it is uh, starting to get its mojo back. We'll see what happens uh, later later as the week goes on. What about Jeff Glenda over there at UR Energy? Uh, the call went in, or I guess around here somewhere, and, and Jeff got the message, and this thing took off like a rocket, man. It has done uh, really, really well. Uh, when we introduced it, it's in the book. Uh, $109 million uh, market cap in the book. It's about 360 million or so now. Uh, it's a it's a stock. It's it's once again it's it's anybody's top five of baby knockouts. Uh, you know, micro cap stocks that all of these, my friends, will get. I believe all of these are going to ten dollars this cycle. Each and every one of them, and some will go a whole lot more than ten dollars. And I believe uh, you are energy if it's not bought out. It's going to be one that's going to do uh, very well. Now I couldn't keep, I couldn't include everyone in a top five guys, but the OGs, they deserve it. And and I mean they've been around for a while, and they, you're talking about pioneers in this business, guys. Uh, let's take a look at uh, number four in the top uh, five 
baby knockout uranium list. Let's look at Global Atomic over in Africa. Uh, we believe that Global Atomic will be a leader. Uh, Steven over there is doing an outstanding job. This was a $53 million market cap company when we first uh, uh, put it out there. Uh, it's about $660 million uh, market cap company now. Uh, it's over its 200-day moving average. Uh, the company has grown, and it will grow more and more and more. Financing, all that stuff is no problem with them. Uh, they are getting money now, not from your uranium, from their zinc. Uh, they're doing well. There's no problem with Global Atomic. They have a, a huge asset over in Africa, like most of them do over in Africa. Yeah, well, Mickey D, the grades are low. Duh. But I'm a, hey, let me tell you something. If you can get a low grade out of Africa and you can get a lot of it, and you're worried about Kastatum Prom, uh, you, there's a problem because you may not be able to get nothing out of there sooner than you think, my friends, because I'm telling you, my sources are telling me that there's, there's some action going on with uranium. That's all I have to say. There's some action going on with uranium, and it's going to happen. So all you Kastatum Prom lovers out there, continue to love it. I hope it goes to zero. But anyway, that's why I didn't have it in my book, uh, How to Invest in Uranium Now. Uh, not because it wasn't a good company then, but because of the geopolitical concerns that I have right now that are coming to the forefront. Anytime when you deal with the hard-headed USSR, and I do have experience, my friends. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. Numero five on the top five hit list here of baby knockouts, a uh, uranium baby knockouts, Denison Mines. Now, Denison is above its 200-day moving average right now. It had it spent a, a, a month or so in the dungeon there. It was down below its two, but it's gone up above its 200-day moving average now. And, you know, what can you say about Dennis? Uh, uh, David uh, Cates over there is doing an outstanding job. Uh, you know, uh, great properties, uh, good management. Uh, they were, I think they were under, they were under 300 million, I believe, when we got a hold of them. They're now almost a billion and a half company, and they're, they're going to be on their way to a billion and a half, two billion uh, dollar company before you know it, uh, before this cycle is over. Uh, they've got it going on. They've got some assets, guys. You want to see their assets? You can go to any any. You can go to any of their websites. Uh, UEC. You, know, you can just take a look at their their properties, their projects. Uh, Texas and Wyoming. Uh, you can go to Western. George Glazier there getting uh, opening up the Bell, uh, the stock exchange there, and then uh, uh, you know you are Energy. You can ask Jeff Glenda. You can contact these people anytime you want. Uh, Global Atomic. Uh, you know, they, they have a, Stephen has an open door policy there. Uh, a Denison uh, is open door policies with all of these guys. And uh, they're, they're, these top five, once again, uh, you've got uh, uh, UEC, Uranium Energy. Uh, we've got Western Uranium and Vanadium. We've got UR Energy. We've got Global Atomic. And we've got Denison Mines. Those are our top five baby knockouts, guys, in the uranium sector. Now, we picked up all these super early, you know, everybody's got their show out now. Everybody's talking about stocks that we had for pennies. And not only these, but a whole lot more, guys. We picked up, rip, but these are ones that we believe are going to rip, rip, rip. And we've got, we've got uh, three of them for you, uh, UEC and Western and UR Energy. American, we've got Global Atomic, which is in Africa. Uh, we've got Denison, which is in Canada. Now, you know Canada's loaded and Africa's loaded also with our baby knockouts, my friends. But you wanted a top five, and I'll give you a top five. Maybe, maybe I'll give you a top ten next. But this is it, and uh, you have a great, great rest of the trading week. God bless you and your family. Guys, take it easy. Uh, don't do too much. Uh, have fun, and... Uh, Thanks for getting your piece of the scoop uh, today, tonight, uh, whatever time it is for you. Take care. God bless.